With higher gas prices and worry about climate change, more drivers are taking a look at switching to EVs, electric vehicles. So nine months ago, my friend Dave Page did just that and decided to buy one of the new all-electric Ford Mustang SUVs. And I love the car. Very fast, very nice, very quiet. Love the technology. But last month, he got a surprise. Cold weather was taking a big bite out of his battery range. Cold Simply weather was the one when my, my range dropped from about 325 to 175. And 175 for me, just wasn't quite enough to do it. They ask about the range. Um, we have a range meter over here. Scott Randall drives his all-electric Chevy Bolt to and from his job as manager at Paris Auto Barn, which specializes in electric and hybrid cars. He says EVs do lose some of their range when it gets cold. The range does uh, go down as far as uh, when it gets below freezing or typically really when it gets super cold below zero, you do see a reduction in range, um, sometimes up to about 30 percent. It's all about the batteries. He says EVs have a conventional battery up front to get started, but the real power comes from the large battery pack underneath the car. And he says the driving range from the battery charge is a top question from potential buyers. Chevy Bolt's 250 miles uh, range, that's the advertised range, and you're going to get that in the summertime. In the wintertime, you're going to be, you know, around the 180 mile range, 200 mile range. Uh, but again, a lot of it has to do with owners' habits on how they drive their vehicle. But he says owners learn how to manage the battery range when it does get cold. This car will tell you if you're driving conservatively or if you're driving aggressively. Colors will change. He says EVs also help recharge themselves when slowing or going downhill through what's called regenerative braking. Beyond that, Randall says cars with heat pumps do better than those with conventional heaters. And that plugging into a charger whenever you can makes a lot of sense especially when it's cold. We suggest leaving the car plugged in all the time. When you're at home, for example, mm. it's basically like having a, a, a gas station at your house for free and you're always full. The Bureau of Motor Vehicles says Maine has fewer than 1,500 all-electric vehicles on the road right now, but more than 19,000 hybrids. Maine's climate change policy envisions a dramatic increase in the use of electric vehicles because Transportation is one of the major users of fossil fuels. As for my friend Dave, he's gone back to conventional driving for now. I suspect I'll be back in electric as soon as the technology comes around. Scott Randall says battery technology is getting better and batteries getting bigger all the time. And he says as people learn more about the technology, they will realize EVs do work for Maine, even in the winter. Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. Two of our co-workers here in New Center, Maine, who have electric cars, say they lose some range in cold weather, but they've gotten used to managing it. Yeah, Keith Carson points out that gasoline-powered cars and trucks typically get lower gas mileage in the cold as well. The difference, of course, is that it's easier to find a gas pump. But more EV charging stations are being installed all the time.